Hi guys, so today I wanna to share another story with you. Today I wanna to talk about can Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman's high power attorneys save them? So I've heard the term, when it rains it pours a million times. What I didn't know is that this term was specifically created for Lori and Felicity. So we all know these two idiots, among many, they're just the two being the face of the scam right now, all got themselves involved in a college admission scam. Now the scam was ran by a guy named Rick Singer and he did all kinds of things. He lied about transcripts, um, clubs, sports. He did whatever he had to do to get these kids in this college. But comes to find out, it's even worse than we thought. Now we find, we're finding out that he lied about ethnicity. He is lying about people's race to get them in college. I mean, for all we know, he could have said that Lori's daughter was black. Anything to get them in there. Now, lying about someone's ethnicity opens up a whole new can of problems for them. Because we all know most colleges allow a certain amount of different races in each college. You need a certain amount of blacks, you need a certain amount of Hispanics, and stuff like that. So some kid probably got bumped off the roster for Lori's kid that's going around pretending like she's black. Now, I'm not saying that they lied about her specific race, but you never know. A liar is a liar, and they was willing to do whatever they had to do to get their kid in college. I mean anything short of studying and having lots of tenacity. So when a mother in Oakland, California heard what was going on, she decided to do something about it. The mother says that her son was a 4.2 GPA student that applied to some of the colleges on Rick's list. This lawsuit is personally going after Lori and Felicity. The mother says that her son had a 4.2 GPA and he didn't get in. In the lawsuit, she accuses them of inflicting emotional distress, civil conspiracy, and fraud. In the meantime, both women have hired high power attorneys with Lori going as far as to hire Sean Berkowitz. He used to work at the Department of Justice. He's a high powered attorney with lots of clout and lots of status. He even worked on the Enron case. So this makes me wonder, do you think these attorneys can come in and save the day for these two? Or is there something that their money can't buy, which will be their freedom? I mean, there's a huge possibility that these women could walk away with a slap on the wrist. Now, do I think they'll get a slap on the wrist? I don't think so. But you know, when you're dealing with that kind of power, you really don't know. I'm thinking they really might have gotten themselves into some serious jail time. But like I say in every video, we all have our different opinions. That's just my opinion. So I want to know what you think in the comment section. Do you think these women, high power attorneys, can get them off with a slap on the wrist? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye. Oh, <laughs>